Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and welcome back to another installment of Lion Reviews. Now today we're going to be talking about the show Afterlife which is currently on Netflix. It's an absolutely brilliant show, uh, so before I get into what I actually think about it, let's talk about a little bit of the information behind it. Now the show itself was written and directed by Ricky Gervais, as are most things with Ricky Gervais in. And some of the people starring in this are Ricky Gervais, Tom Basden, Tony Way, Diane Morgan and Mandeep Dillon to name a few. Now the show itself is about a man named Tony whose wife has passed away and he is now suffering with deep, deep depression. He's having suicidal thoughts and the only thing that's keeping him from committing suicide and uh, I absolutely love this reason is because he needs to feed the dog. If he's not there, who feeds the dog? I, I do love that, it's the whole mundane side of it that if I'm not here, who's going to feed my dog? It's the little things that keep him there. I, I do, I love that. But uh, because he's not acting on these suicidal thoughts, he is using this time that he's alive to do what he wants and say what he wants to anybody. With the whole fallback that, well, I can always kill myself if it doesn't work out. It's one of them, it's so dark, yet it's so funny at the same time. Like... I could do what I want, and if it doesn't work out, fuck it, I'm gone anyway. This show uh, does have a lot of the whole dark comedy, uh, and for me, I'm personally a lover of dark comedy. I, I feel like if we can joke about stuff, then we can joke about absolutely anything, because the fact of the matter is, if we joke about something that's so sad and actually everything just feels doom and gloom, it may actually lift someone up. Someone who's gone through any of these situations may actually just be uplifted at least slightly, seeing a bit of a funny joke side of it. I, I know it sounds like it's absolutely terrible, but something like that, I don't know, if, if by joking about it you can make someone else feel better about what they're going through or whatever, all power to you, like, it, it's so much better that way. One of the other things that I absolutely love is the progression through this. Um, throughout the whole series, you start, you see other people going through like these situations. It's no like massively there throughout the whole lot, but there's like these little bits that just show other people going through big things for them. Uh, and you you get to see it a lot more towards the end of the series. You get to see a lot more of what everyone else has actually gone through, and I think that shows a really good message. Like. You might be gone for something that's absolutely dreadful and you shouldn't you shouldn't have to hide the fact that you feel like crap or anything. But this, the other thing that you've got to take into account is even though you're gone for stuff, everybody else has gone for stuff as well. Everybody in the world has their own problems and that doesn't mean that your problems are any less or any more. It just means that we've got to be aware and got to actually be sympathetic to other people's feelings. We never know what's going on with somebody else. Everybody's issues matter. It's really strange. I'm not used to seeing like a show like this from Ricky Gervais. I'm used to seeing like a lot of in-your-face humour and things like that. Uh, so this was kind of... Well, this was really new from Ricky Gervais. And to be honest, I feel like this is his best work. This show was 100% his best work. I absolutely loved it from start to end. I also like the fact that they didn't shy away from going into the serious stuff, like really gone into it. A lot of shows might like try to avoid certain ways of doing stuff. This actually went really into his depression and what it was doing to him, what it was doing to his head. And not a lot of shows can actually capture it. So bravo on this, you did really, really well on capturing everything here. It also did show a big side that not everyone really gets to see and it's the people around that are trying to help. These are the ones that stick around even when the person's like completely, everybody else would write them off. There are people in this that actually show that even when somebody is beyond saving, they will still try, they will still keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. It really shows in this, even when it seems like somebody's a completely lost cause, there could be a million different things you do and that one little tiny thing that you end up doing could save somebody's life, could change somebody's life, just make a massive impact. I love the seriousness in this and I love all of the different things that it picked up on, all of the different things it tried to capture. 
I uh, 100% I absolutely loved this. Now from what I've read up after watching it, the I've seen one or two things saying possible season two and things like that. I disagree with this. Uh, for me, it it should be one and done. Like if they bring out a second series, I'm gonna watch it, and who knows, it may add to it, may make it even better. But I feel like the way this series went and the way that it ended was absolutely perfect. So I feel like it should be left there. It's comedy genius, drama genius. It's literally just a masterpiece of a show. So I feel like picking it up for a second season might not be the best idea. I could be proven wrong, but that's my feelings at the moment. Now the rating that I'm actually going to give this show is Ricky's Best. Literally, I feel like this is the best work he has ever done. And I, I like so much of Ricky Gervais's work. I love The Office. I love Derek. I love the invention of lying. I loved uh, An Idiot Abroad. Like, all of these things from Ricky Gervais's mind, they're all fucking brilliant. But I stick by my guns 100%. This is his best work by far. If this show has taught me anything, really, it's to enjoy each day of life. Because you never know what's going to happen. So just enjoy life. E even though, right, messy life shit. We all know that. We all know that messy life is absolute fucking trash but we did get those moments those beautiful fucking moments in life enjoy them honestly just embrace those tiny little moments that, and remember them keep them with you forever so before you all go off to enjoy those happy little moments in life uh i'd like to thank you all for joining me and i hope you tune in next time for the next lion reviews and don't forget but fuck that like button boys